Okay, here's the progress on my Titan Recon plane. Um, Titan, the, the Tycon. Uh, basically, what I've got here is a Titan glider. Uh, I think it's an EPP foam glider. It's one of those chuck gliders that we used to use back in the day. And um, basically, I'm converting this to an RC recon plane. Uh, I've been doing a lot of airplane projects. Um, trainers and jets and stuff like that and I just try to you know decide to get into something a little bit different so basically here's what I've got so far and I'll, I'll tell you what I've got so far and then I'll go through what my plans are and what the electronics are going to be and stuff like that so got this big foam plane and uh, what I've done is cut ailerons for it elevators um, this plane's not going to have rudder control, it's going to be ailerons and elevators, like pretty much like most of my planes. I don't typically use rudder control. I'm not that advanced at flying, so I, I don't really need it. So I got my uh, ailerons on, got my elevators on. Um, I've reinforced the, the tail with uh, some bamboo spars underneath. I've reinforced the wings, so it's going to be. Um, pretty big wing load I think on here so they were pretty flexible and I reinforced them with some uh, fiberglass bars um, next what I did was I built I don't know if you can see that a little home brew looks like a bow but what it is is a hot wire cutter and I hooked that up to, like, to a 12 volt power supply and I use that to cut foam with. and what I've done is I've cut the nose off of this plane and hollowed out the inside and uh, basically that's going to give me plenty of room for a battery and uh, electronics and things like that in there. I still have some hot wire running to do from the front to the back. Uh, this is going to be a pusher prop. I've already got my motor and a, a variety of different props. I'm not sure which prop I'm going to use. I'm just going to start off with this one which is uh, a 9x5 prop which is probably going to be uh, more than I need, but uh, that's where I'll start from. So I'll get that all. It's going to be a push-up prop. I'm going to build a mount, and the motor's going to be in the back. And um, my plans are with this uh, plane to be able to do some video with a controllable camera. So what I've done is I've purchased this tiny little see them all over the internet they're basically keychain cam camcorders you know it's a little tiny lens up front probably can't see it but it looks like a keychain uh, car remote thing but it records actually not too bad I'll put some sample video on of that what's gonna happen is I'm gonna mount this in the front of the plane but I'm gonna mount it on a movable hinge where it will move up and down like this so I can control it from my from the uh, my radio up and down. I'm not going to do side to side just yet just up and down. What I'm also intending to do I'm going to hook a servo to it and I've got a bunch of these little gyros uh, for my helicopters and what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook a gyro up in the nose and hook it to this camera so I can set it and say I want it to be pointing at this angle down and it doesn't matter how I fly my plane the camera is always going to stay pointing at the ground at the same level so as I'm going up and doing climbs and doing dives uh, the theory is that the camera is going to be pointed the same direction on the ground I should be able to fly it all over the place get a good shot of the ground um, the other two gyros here uh, I'm intending to mount inside and connect to the ailerons and that way that'll make sure I get nice level flight um, when the wind blows uh, the plane's not going to rock back and forth uh, very much or it's going to reduce that quite a bit so I should get some nice level steady flying and some nice level um, video recording um, not sure also I'll probably connect that servo to, to uh, one of the channels so I can actually you know, move the camera around, point it up, point it down, um, however I want it. I'll eventually add a rudder so I can yaw the plane and uh, get some side-to-side -side view because I don't really want to do a 
uh, any, any more complicated uh, camera mounting than that. So that's where I am right now. That's the plans for this plane. Uh, I got a long way to go. I have learned a lot about uh, airplanes, and I'm I'm doing a lot of research and doing a lot of studying up on wing loads and things like that, so I can have a, a good flying plane off the bat. And uh, so far, so good with this thing. Um, I think the balance is going to be right on. I did some tests earlier this morning with the motor on the back, the battery in the front, and pretty much my center of gravity is going to be right here over the wing. And it, my battery is like right in the middle of the cavity right there. So I've got plenty of room to move it forwards and backwards to adjust the center of gravity as I add and uh, subtract uh, electronics and do different things with this plane. So that's it for now. And uh, look forward to the maiden flight, which hopefully is going to be here in the next couple of days. Once I get my motor mount done, I'll get the motor mounted, the battery in. Uh, the basic electronics, four servos, uh, just for the control surfaces. I'm not going to put the servo on for the camera just yet. I want to get the control surfaces operational, the battery mounted, the motor mounted, uh, speed controller, all that good stuff, all the stuff that's necessary for it to fly. Balance it out, take it to the field, put it up in the air, make sure it's going to, you know, it's going to be a stable platform. Once I get that uh, done, and I'm convinced that it's going to fly pretty good. Then I'll come back and um, put all the um, the rest of the electronics, the cameras, the gyros, and all that good stuff, and start working on that. And also probably put a nice flat black paint job on here. So um, look forward to seeing that video up here in the next uh, you know week or so. Later.